Hello friends, welcome back to the next lecture on numericals on the resonant transformer. So let us begin with the statement for the numerical with the solution. Now how to identify the numerical and its topic? Just check the statement. A hundred kVA. 400 volt by 250 kilo volt testing transformer. So it is clear from this concept that there is an input voltage of 400 volt on primary side of the transformer and a high voltage is available on the secondary side of the transformer of 250 kilovolt has 8% leakage reactance and 2% resistance. So this transformer which has primary and secondary winding is having percentage reactance of 8%. This value is not given in ohms but given in percentage. So it means you have to convert it into ohms and the value of resistance is 2% which is also to be converted into units that is ohms on this 100 kVA base. A cable has to be tested at 500 kilo volt. So it means here you have to connect one cable and the voltage across that cable is of 500 kilo volt. And we have to use this given transformer at a resonant transformer. At a resonant transformer, it means that the topic name of this is a resonant transformer where we know that we have to keep one inductor connected with the capacitor. And this capacitor is nothing but the test specimen which is placed and the voltage across that test specimen is capacitor voltage that is VC of 500 kilo volt. Over here there is a inductor that is choke coil which is placed which is variable and the frequency of that as 50 hertz. So we have to change the value of this inductor to say the value of Xc and at resonance condition, the condition is Xl is equal to Xc. If the charging current of the cable is 500 kilo volt is 4.4 ampere, it means that is what the value of charging current which is given. Find the series inductance required. So we have to find the value of inductance which is required that is L. Here one more point which is given as resistance of 2% of the inductor means internal resistance of that inductor is given. So the total resistance becomes what? The resistance of the inductor is 2%. So therefore the total resistance I just mentioned as R only. So this is belong to transformer. So total resistance is 2% plus 2% that is of 4%. Neglecting dielectric loss of the cable, what will be the input voltage? That is V1 that we have to find out. Input voltage that we have to find out. Okay, so let us start solving this particular numerical. Now, based on the given concept, we have to find out certain values of current. So, the first condition, first thing is the maximum current that can be supplied by the testing transformer. Maximum current means the current which is on this side. So, that current can be calculated as current is equal to. KVA rating of the transformer is 100 KVA. So therefore, KVA rating divided by the kilo volt, that is voltage rating. So it is V multiplied by kilo volt ampere. So it is multiplied by 1000. Now kilo volt ampere capacity is 100. So it is multiplied by 1000 divided by voltage. Voltage on the secondary side that we have to consider that is, that is as we have to find out the charging current on the secondary side, right? So instead of calling this as I2, I just call it as I. And definitely the voltage on the secondary side that we have to consider is of 250 kilo volt. So convert that quantity into volt and therefore we get the value of that current is 0.4 milliampere. So we are getting the value of that maximum charging current is of 0.4 ampere which is given here. Now, the value of Xc, capacitive reactance. Here, the value of C, 
or the value of xc because xc is equal to xl right this is what the condition is so xc can be calculated as xc is equal to vc upon i as we know the value of the current passing through that particular charging capacitor that is cable piece vc now what is the value of vc it is 500 kilo volt so 500 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 that is conversion of kilo volt into volts divided by 0.4 so the value of that as 1250 i am writing this in kilo ohms so 10 to the power 3 is converted into k so the value of capacitive reactance is this much now xl value i just do that calculation of xl here only xl is given in percentage which is 8% so that quantity to be converted into ohmic quantity so 8% divided by 100 multiplied by v upon i now 8 upon 100 multiplied by v the voltage output voltage definitely that is secondary voltage it is 250 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by current as 0.4 ampere charging current that is on the secondary side so that gives me the value of xl so this calculation gives me the value of xl as 50 kilo ohms now here the value of xc is 1250 the value of xl is 50 kilo ohms 1250 kilo ohms this is 50 kilo ohms and to have that resonance condition xl is equal to xc there is a requirement of extra reactance and that reactance is equal to the difference between the two that is xc minus xl so if i do that i get 1250 minus 50 which comes out to be 1200 kilo ohms 1200 kilo ohms so that is what the value of x now from that x i can find out the additional reactance and hence additional inductance required so above is the additional reactance so additional inductance which is required which is asked how to get this xl is equal to twice pi fl here xl means the additional reactance which we have calculated in previous slide 1200 kilo ohms so you can convert it into ohms so i just keep it 1200 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to twice pi frequency which is mentioned as 50 hertz multiplied by l which we have to calculate so l is equal to 1200 into 10 to the power 3 divided by twice pi into 50 and hence the value of inductor is 3820 henry this much value of the inductor additional inductor required in this circuit now we have to find out the primary voltage or the supply voltage so for that purpose we have to follow certain calculations for that purpose we have the value of resistance which is given the total resistance of the circuit is 4% again the quantity is not given in ohmic ohms so resistance to be calculated in ohms so that is equal to 4% therefore 4 into 4 upon 100 multiplied by voltage upon current as this is again on secondary side therefore 4 upon 100 multiplied by voltage is 250 kilo volt of the secondary side multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by charging current which we have calculated is 0.4 ampere so the value of resistance is 25 kilo ohms so this is the value of resistance now excitation voltage e2 right that can be calculated so e2 is equal to i into r by using ohms law current voltage is equal to current multiplied by resistance now the value of current is 0.4 value of resistance is 25 kilo ohms you can convert this kilo ohms into ohms so that you get 10 into 10 to the power 3 volts or this can be written as 10 kilo volt 
So this is induced EMF or excitation EMF on the secondary side of the transformer. Whatever the transformer rating which is given, whatever the transformer rating which is given is 400 volt upon 250 kilovolt, right? But this much is the voltage level which is available. That is 10 kilovolt. Now, how to get this primary side voltage? So that primary side voltage can be calculated as we know the transformation ratio. This transformation ratio is given by the equation V2 upon V1 is equal to E2 upon E1. Now, if I had to find out the primary voltage, let us say this is E1, as we already said, excitation voltage on the secondary side as E2. Therefore, E1 I have to calculate. It is equal to V1 upon V2. Now, this is what the rated voltage multiplied by E2. Now, V1 is 400 volt, as always we know that rating of the transformer is given in terms of V1 upon V2. So 400 upon 250 kilovolt multiplied by E2, that is 10 kilovolt. So this kilovolt, kilovolt get cancelled. Here we have kilovolt. Here we have kilovolt. Here we, we have a unit volt. So this kilovolt, kilovolt get cancelled. This cancels the unit and therefore E1 is equal to 400 upon 25. So 25 division of 25 gives me 16 volt. So this is what the primary voltage. You can use abbreviations as V1 and V2 for say primary voltage and secondary voltage. And E1 and E2 with the rated voltage as 400 volt and 250 kilovolt. The answer will be same. There is no change. But I am using this E1 as primary voltage and E2 as secondary induced voltage and V1 and V2 be the rated voltage of the transformer. The answer will be same in any of the case. So E1 is equal to this. Now, one more quantity that can be calculated, that is input power. P in can be calculated as 16 volt, that is E1, divided by 400 volt, that is V1, multiplied by 100, that is KVA capacity of the transformer. So that gives me what? 4 kilowatt, 4 kilowatt. So 100 is the KVA capacity of the transformer, which is multiplied by 16 upon 400. So therefore, I am getting input power is of 4 kilowatt. So this is the way to do the calculation for the resonant transformer numericals. Hope you understood this. Thank you very much. We'll meet again with the next numerical.